Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, quick shout out to all the subscribers checking out the content. Appreciate y'all. And those that's watching that's new, just go ahead and subscribe. Right now, I got a few playlists for you all about sublimation content, converting printers, graphic design, free software stuff. A lot of good stuff. So, get into the video. Because I don't want to make this a long tutorial. We're going to be talking about transfer paper. This is t-shirt printing onto a 100% cotton shirt, okay? Or a cotton blend. So it's Photo Paper Direct. That's the name of the company. I'm not affiliated with them. It's not a sponsor. I just did my research. And I got 11 by 17, 50 sheets. And in the back, it has detailed instructions. So you won't be using your normal your normal, normal, your normal sublimation settings off the printer. You know, I'm gonna keep it real, this is not scripted. So, I got the 11 by 17s, and this reminds me of easy sublies. I do have eight and a half by 11 easy sublies from sizing, uh, but it doesn't, if you do the comparison, so the 11 by 17 compared to the easy sublies 11, by 16.5 so you get an extra 0.5 and it comes with 50 sheets like I said actually you can put two designs on here so you got 50 times 2 that's 100 designs if you think about it unless you just want to do something big oh it's the back of the logo so of course if you use the workforce this size you cannot use the paper tray on top you will have to load this in cassette 2 face down one at a time um, you saw the thumbnail, I already did a black shirt, with the wash test, I'll show you the results at the end. But also, if you're good with the scissors, because you will have to cut up the white part of the borders. If you're good with the scissors, you know, make sure your scissors are sharp. If not, I would invest into a craft thin paper trimmer that's, you know, that you can replace the blades and everything. This has a lot to it. I would recommend a higher quality paper trim or the guillotine, the one you be chopping stuff, but the blade gotta be super sharp. I think that would be better than this normal paper trimmer because this is totally different from sublimation paper. It's not gonna cut like the paper. And also, you don't want to be pressing too hard on the ruler part. Just will hold it in place, you know. And because you don't want to smudge the image and things in that nature. So I'm just going to show you the proper way how to set everything up. The heat press. I got this demonstration shirt. It says soft cotton. Uh, it doesn't tell you the percentage. That's why it's a demonstration shirt. BW attire. So definitely room to ever. So this is a good gray, a gray shirt. And we still want to test it out on this shirt. It doesn't have to be black, but it's cotton. So we're going to go ahead and get into the video. All right, so the set is going to be 375. For 12 seconds. So you're not going to use the paper tray up here, okay? And if you ever see this firmware update, just close it out. Don't update it. If you have, no worries. So pull out the tray. Go to move this little plastic part right here. And this is the button you want to press. Okay, right now it's set up for the A4. So pull all the way out. Going to be for your 11 17. If you have the eight and a half by 11, you'll load that in cassette one normally, just like this. Make sure the logo is down, this is tight right here. Okay, I'm gonna have to adjust the camera now. I'm gonna have to adjust the camera, so you got to put the little tray back on, okay, because. Then you gotta have to take both hands, so you can't just push it in from the back end, okay? So just go ahead and just slide it in until these little 
Got these little holes right here. So it gets like a little snap. So your tray should look like this. Okay. Don't worry about the paper settings because we're gonna go onto the computer. I'm not gonna do that share screen stuff. All right. So now we're at the computer. So I pulled up Silhouette Studio. It's gonna bring you something like this. Now if you look to the right, uh, see the mouse cursor underneath send, click on that little paper okay, right there. It's going to bring you to this. So don't worry about the machine. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Go to width. It's going to be in inches, 11 by 17. Okay. Got the portrait and it will have a print border. Okay. So what you want to do is make it a little smaller. Um, you can pull up your folders file any kind of way. And all you got to do is click and drag your image. That's image one, image two. So once you click on it, you can size it. I'm just going to put it at this corner and it's dragged. That's all you got to do. Just drag it out. Don't have to worry about holding any kind of keys. This one, I'm going to start from the bottom. Bottom corner, you see that little blue? This is telling you, hey, stop right there. And just drag it out. And you still have a little gap in, in between. And it tells you the measurements. You know, it's gonna be 8.3 the height, and it's gonna be about 10.8 wide. Now, this is the most important part. Uh, once you hit your printer, send to printer. It's the most important part right here. So once you hit print, okay, this is the preview. See what I did? This is the real picture and I cartoon this picture right here. I could do another video, just leave it down in the comments, how to cartoon using free software. So once you hit print, find your printer, whether it be the workforce or the echo tank, eco tank, hit the preferences. What we want is high quality. Now we load it. If you're using regular eight and a half by 11, you'll put cassette one. If you're using 11 by 17, you will have to do cassette two. Document size, very important. All right, leave it as is. Paper type, high quality, plain paper. Quality, high. Now you have to manually do all this stuff. Now what you wanna do is go to more option tab right here in the top left. Now what you want to do is click on custom, click advance. Now if you want to get straight to printing, go to ICM. Still get some vibrant colors. If not, go to color controls. Make sure this is Epson Vivid. Click the sidebar. And I still remember my settings. 2, negative 20, negative 15. And I do have a video for your print preferences colors. These colors have been working pretty lovely for me. Click OK. And then if you want more options, click the image options. And you can emphasize thin lines, edge smoothing, and fix red eye. Click OK. Click OK. Click print. It's going to load up. You got your heat press on and it's going to print out, it's going to send to the printer. All right, it printed out pretty fast, faster than the normal through the paper tray. Um, what you probably want to do is let it sit just a little bit before we start cutting. All right, so do not be afraid to go over that cut line. Lock it in. I'm just gonna 
Audi. Cut that one later. I'm going to get the real Tyson on here. This is the tricky part. The tricky part is actually removing this. So. This is where you have to be careful. Separating this right here. Now this can take a minute. So this does take a little bit of time to actually get it, but you can get it. It's a little, takes a little bit of work. This is the little tricky part. There you go. So separating it, you're gonna to have to be really careful. That's why I say you should let it try. I it's playing with me. There it is. Once you get it, just peel it. This thing is not sticky. This is not sticky. It's very flimsy. Try to hold it from the bottom. Design to the side. Go ahead and do our little five second pre-press sorry this looks bootleg let's go ahead and get out the remaining fibers So taking off the corner is the most trickiest part about it, but it beats having to do the mask and everything by extra material, like easy stuff. All right, we're gonna do four from the collar. And of course, if you don't have a T-square or you don't have measuring tape, some kind of ruler, you can always fold armpit to armpit he press it down, that way he can get the center point straight down the middle. So that looks about even. Don't have to tack it down, you just gotta make sure you line it up. But if you're doing it for the customer, of course you don't use no heat transfer tape or nothing like that. Good. Now you take the parliament paper, place it over right here. Now you can take the Teflon sheet that's to protect the garment for the second press.
here we go. So we're going to lift up. bad boy out the way and we're going to just go ahead and hot peel it as you can see it doesn't stick so you can actually reuse this you are going to smell something funny see right here what I was talking about you got to be very careful because I nicked it but you can't tell you cannot tell so it looks pretty good all right, so we're going to press it one more time. Just going to stretch it out just a little bit. Give it a little. A little stretch. Place that back on there. Place this right here. And we're just going to go ahead and let it uh, press for another 12 seconds. Again, as for. It should be saying 375, but with this heat press, it'd be jumping around. off do that back and there we go got yourself a nice solid shirt Let me set up the camera for the pros and cons so here's our demonstration shirt came out good it came out good uh tell you the difference um, is it feels light I mean it pressed on there you know did it bleed through but that's good Let me show you didn't bleed through um, this looks good this is dual Kind of got like a little vintage look to it. Now, we're not supposed to do that on a lighter color shirt. They actually got separate ones for that. This is two washes. I'm running this through two washes. This is the cartoon version. So, it looks pretty good. It survived. It's not peeling. Um, I messed up. I smudged it here with the normal paper trimmer. So that's why I said, you know, you might want to invest into a regular one. But look, I did it on a white tee. So it, it is possible. I just recommend for the second press, uh, if you do, you probably may not want to stretch it so much. The only issue is doing this, Got to make sure you have a sharp, sharp cutting tool. Okay, be good with the scissors and you're good with the scissors. After you cut it, you got to make sure your fingernails ain't all in the way because sublimation ink, it's easy to smudge this or nick it. And also doing the corners, that's pretty tough. I ain't gonna lie. So you just got to play with it without you know, basically you probably want to do it over the table and play with it. That would be the better option how I did the other shirts. So that's it for the tutorial. Hope you enjoy watching. Um, I do like the product. Um, it's doable. It didn't take that long. You know, like easy subby. So everybody got the pros and cons to it. It's whatever. 
the budget is, but I'll leave the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Y'all stay blessed and stay true. Peace.